What's going on? Back playing the game with your boy the Prophet. And so today, man, I'm just gonna do a quick video for you guys talking about um, the best characters to use for extreme co-op. Um, those of you that it's maybe your first time, or you know, I don't know. This is a different extreme co-op than normal, so we'll just go over the rules. Extreme co-op from the time this video starts is live in about seven hours about six and a half to seven hours um but uh basically it's the first extreme cup is so uh, 11 12, 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it's seven hours after the daily reset so basically it's one hour after pvp and guild quest reset because one hour after that is the first extreme co-op session. Um, it lasts for two hours. And um, yeah. So the thing is, um, seven seat uh, extreme co-op doesn't drop as many rewards. Um, it's a quite a significant difference from seven seat to third seat. However, I would still suggest farming it if you are seven seat. Um, even if you're fourth seat. I mean, it just depends. There's nowhere else that you're going to get all this kind of good stuff. Um, get the accessory ticket. Well, yeah, I mean, editing brushes and Hogyokus, everybody needs those. So, if you don't need editing brushes and Hogyokus, then don't farm it. But everyone should need them right now. And you still get Hogyokus and editing brushes from the 7 seat version as well. Um, that being said, the third seat drops two guaranteed editing brushes at every time. Now, there are exact specific melee guard and range guard enemies meaning if you meaning the best loadout the best team composition is two range and two melees normally you want to have everybody wants to have a killer ability um now with extreme co-op attribute is boosted not killer so killer is still an extra 20 percent damage there's no boost to killer I'm sorry if I'm like looking mad orange, bro. Like, I think my camera is like auto adjusting. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, like, look, it's auto adjusting. Why it's doing? I don't, I don't know. But so, so they really kind of threw a wrench at us with this extreme co-op. Technique characters only. Like, don't bring another character. It's not technique actually. It's just as simple as that. But um, the enemies have a wrong card killer. There's poison and fire on the floor, which means like. Bro, you, everywhere you walk, you're gonna have to fl you're gonna have to be killing mobs around those poison puddles, around the fire puddles, because everything is gonna make you lose HP. Hollows and non-affiliation mobs, like, dude. First of all, we're gonna go over all the best units to use. Um, so they went for non-affiliation mobs. So non-affiliation are, are gonna be something else too. There's legitimately almost every kind of enemy, bro. Like, a Ron Car and a Spada, Soul Reaper, Soul Reaper, Ron Car and a Spada, bosses that is, so human, Soul Reaper, so three Soul Reapers, three Soul Reaper bosses, oh, humans, not even non-affiliation, humans, so the bosses, the, the bosses, uh, you want to have killer on the bosses more times than not. That's more important. Killer on the bosses over killer on the mobs. So, Soul Reaper killers, um, Arankar killers, and uh, I mean, I guess there are some human killers for tech, but yeah, that's pretty much it. These are the times. They're all in um, JST, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, yeah, so... I'm just going to show you guys real quick before I do this. These are the uh, the rewards that you can get. I guess the guaranteed three-star accessory tickets don't drop in the third, uh, uh, fourth to seventh seat. But you still get brushes and hug your coos, um, and power hearts as well. Just take a look at my account. First of all, I have 940 accessory slots. I'm, I'm going to just do the rest of the video like this. No, I'm not. I'm just have to be orange. I don't know. <laughs> but, like, I have, like, about 800 five-star accessories. Like, and then all these gold items. But, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Out of 900, I have, like, this many four-star accessories. 
and then all the rest of these are five star accessories now if you also take a look look at how much hearts how much evolution powders how many books how many editing brushes I have extreme co-op is the best most beneficial game mode to your account and bleach brave souls there's no way around it a lot of y'all been playing this game for two years and still got trash rolls and wonder why because you don't play extreme co-op so with that being said boo, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look we're on the uh, BBS simulator shout out to homie soul Dex the goat who does so much for this community man um, shout out to him out I'll, I'll always make sure I leave the BBS simulator uh, linked in the description so we're gonna first look at ranged so just straight up range units um, for tech attribute so we're not even looking at killers so Aizen has killer Stark has killer on a couple of the bosses this tech Rukia is going to be the best range character well kind of because the mobs have hollow killer but there wasn't really any hollow killer there weren't really any hollow bosses that I've that I've seen. Um, a lot of times as well, man, you're gonna you're gonna want to use whatever character you have link slotted um, for range or melee. You you might ha and I would always suggest doing extreme co-op in a party. Um, if you're just joining the randoms, I would always have two characters set up: one range, one melee. Always because you if you jump in a room and they got super god tier characters but they need one range you're gonna sit there and and sit there with a melee and you need a range either you're gonna leave or they're gonna close the room just because you you join being a bummer so try and set up two characters if you can um it, it does help drastically you know especially when you're joining the randoms or i mean even when you like okay, i'm about to say like or even when you um uh even when you're joining in the team you know unless everybody knows exactly where they're gonna be and like who they're who they're gonna be um, then you're gonna need you're gonna need to go ahead and um, you're gonna need to go ahead and uh, have two characters set up so this Aizen is gonna be he's gonna be pretty good I guess Stark they are around car and um, a spot of bosses so Stark will be good for that Rukia is gonna be very great don't you dare bring Zomari. Zomari does have killer on the non-affiliation mobs, but Zomari is a meme, bro. Uh, some people might be using this. Let's kill the cool. Yeah. Uh, range collision first and moving vortex second. Like, nah, I'm good. Red 2 is okay. Um, some people are probably going to be using Ginjo because they all have him. You should not be using any character further back than that. Like, let's just be real. So we'll go ahead and switch this up to melee. Uh, I just gave you a couple of options, you know, of good people to use for this extreme co-op. Notice that I didn't say any normal type. Wait, what the hell? Oh, that's exclude melee. Okay. Guess you can do it both ways. So a way to do this is gonna be horrible for for those of y'all that love using. Nad units for co-op, bro. Oetsu has minimal range with his normal attack string compared to like someone like Tokinata. And there's fire and poison everywhere. So you're gonna be like one hit, two hit, flash step out of the fire, one hit, two hit, bro. Nad units are not good for extreme co-op, bro. Because extreme co-op, you only have time. You have two hours to clear as many runs as you can, bro. And if, if you're if somebody's causing you to take an extra minute or an extra 40 seconds per run, that's 10, 12 runs that you're doing less. Um, Halibel's going to be great for melee, of course. Kind of going to be good, too. This would be a good time for anybody who has a, a max slotted um, young Biakia because uh, they're non-affiliation mobs here. Um, don't you bring this Odehime, bro, for real. She does have killer on the uh, human bosses. Don't you bring that Lisa? No, no. I know Jesse's gonna use Sun Sun, but I wouldn't recommend using her. Me personally, she's not bad, but her her second strong attack is really bad for co-op. Uh, I'm gonna be using Tech Soy Phone. 
and uh, Stark. Those are going to be two units I've set up. I could also use my um, adult, I mean my Titi Toshiro. Uh, I know a lot of people have multiple copies of this Demon Grimjow. If you got him max slotted and you got some dupes of him, this will be the time to go wild with him. Like, mine's four or five. He ain't slotted. He ain't getting no, no shine on me. But that's pretty much it. Um, you really don't want to be using units like too much older than that. Let me see. I know TLA Soy Phone about to be back here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Four Bring Ichigo, TLA Soy Phone, and uh, uh, Fourth Fusion Aizen. They're going to be good because they're so Reaper mobs as well. So I would just say use whoever you have the most dupes of. Uh, but always do try and set up a ranged character and a melee character. Always know that if you and another person both if if you join a room and you know there's three range people or there's three range people and some oh uh, no excuse me there's three melee people and somebody got to switch to range if you see this dude has a five out of five halibut or five out of five soy phone or five out of five eyes in with max slots and you don't even have a, a max slotted character with no dupes man you better go ahead and switch to range character to take the take the you know take one for the team because he's gonna be um, you know helping clear faster than you would be anyway. So the main thing about extreme co-op is clear time. Make sure you're not gonna run out as fast as possible. And if you're not host, never, never, never grab the extra soul bomb when you get an extra stage. Only the host can bomb through multiple waves at one time. So if you're not host, your strong attacks only affect one wave of, of enemies. Um, so that's it. Make sure you got attention tie on you. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be it, man. But uh, if you have any more tips or tricks required, make sure you hit me up. I will be doing the EX Co-op Destruction video with the boys. Maybe the first session or second. I don't know. But if you'd like, share, subscribe. Profit Nation. Do love y'all. But I'm out this one.